tell me exactly, like in layman's terms, what what is going with the PET scan? It goes in, it's the tracers, the isotopes, all of it. What, can you kind of give us a real quick um, explanation as to what the process is? What a PET scan involves for the patient is to come into a nuclear medicine suite or a radiology suite and then have this sugar that um, uh, has this low level radioactivity attached to it injected and in a period of about 30 to 40 minutes, they'll be in a quiet room so that they're not thinking about a lot of things or getting a lot of stimulation that might you know, change the brain pattern. They just want them to rest quietly. If I'm doing the injection myself, I'll say, okay, after I inject this, I'm not gonna talk to you and you shouldn't talk to us, not because we're not friendly, but we just don't want anything that's gonna change your pattern of activation. After that 30 or 40 minutes of rest, then they're put into the actual scanner. It's an open ring. It's not like a, an MRI tube that some people get claustrophobic in, but it's just a ring that surrounds the head. And for a period of about 15 minutes, it's acquiring the data from the sugar that was injected into you. It, it gives you information that you can tell region by region through the brain how much activity there is. And you can compare that to how much activity there should be region by region through the brain. Ask your doctor about a PET scan with NeuroQ or visit us on the web for more information about costs and scheduling.